Welcome to Bikini Bottom Radio. You wanna... So then I said, she's not even my wife. You didn't even say it right. It's my wife. This is already so <laughs> bad. Welcome back, everyone, after a couple months. Is this really a welcome? It's, it's not more a welcome, just like right? a, a just, sad. Hello. We're just dra- being me. dragged back. Hey, guys. Uh, we are back after way too long. And I'm Robert. I'm Anthony. Get off your phone. I'm the girl. And... And you this play is tambourine. Bi- this yeah. is Bikini Bottom Radio. <laughs> uh, oh, we, oh, no. This is... Uh, and Jenny. Just cut the rest of that out. Oh, also, real quick, I want to apologize to anybody <laughs> who follows our Instagram because I posted that, like, hey, guys, we've got new episodes coming up. This uh, I didn't realize at the time I posted that on April 1st, being like, guys, we're recording soon. <laughs> Don't worry. Like, you, you can go back. If the, the post with the That's amazing funny. wormy clay art that Jenny made for me. We were going to do it, but I got really sick, so I couldn't come down. And then another time I had plans after. It just, but yeah. Jenny has been, like, due to other obligations, visiting me for the past several weeks. And just by pure everything else, we <laughs> pure have not world happening. not support. And I got sick, and then Anthony's always in L.A., even though I live in L.A. And I'm always I know, free. <laughs> so we're flipping around. And I'm always free. <laughs> Because it's not my fault. Just putting it out there. Anyway, welcome back to Bikini Bottom Radio. We love to have you back. Um, This week, you see it in the title, we're covering Naughty Nautical Neighbors, Season 1, Episode 4. Some could call us Naughty Nautical Neighbors. Who calls you that? I said some could. I said some could. Oh, okay. Not that they did. They could. I mean, yeah. They wanted to. Uh, Let's see. Oh, we got some shout outs to do, but let's save that for the end of the podcast after we talk about Ooh, the episode. Yeah. <laughs> what Ooh, the hell guys. is a souffle? <laughs> a souffle is like. A souffle is a. That's your first note? Cake. Yeah. That is very sound sensitive. That's why it deflated because it has egg whites and that causes it to rise. So when they were loud, it deflated because you have to eat it right away. Got it. That's yeah. Like, if you're yeah. loud, it deflates? If, yeah. If it's very sound and movement sensitive. Oh, I so didn't know that. if you like slam the oven too hard, it's very like also temperamental. Oh. And I think you usually have to bake it in a water bath. So like yeah, you that do have also, to... that can also get in it and mess it. So it's a very temperamental food. So that's why it's like a challenge on MasterChef. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because oh. it can fall and then there's nothing you can do about it. It's very temperamental. I feel like I've seen soufflés referenced in other cartoons as like a, a fancy oh, person yeah. is like oh, making yeah. a soufflé and then some annoying like... kid. Yeah. So we like the Zach and yeah. Cody. Oh, yeah, that happened. Okay. Cody, makes a Cody makes a souffle and it deflates. That hey, happens. we'll get back to Disney Channel later. Wink. Two people know what that means. I have... Oh, okay. I, I always got grossed out when he was m- making bubbles out of, like, juice yeah. from the souffle. Okay, yeah, that... Okay, I've got that. Because that confused me. I was like, what is that's, this thing? That's not a thing. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Jenny, Jenny is a really good cook, and she watches a lot of cooking shows. Okay. And I was going to ask you, why is the souffle leaky? Yeah, because I don't they're, think they're supposed they're to not. be leaky. <laughs> they're not. Maybe it was a reference to the water bath, but then again, they're underwater. So, but hey, you know what? Props to Squidward. Good fondant work on top of there. I'm assuming, like you, you wouldn't be able to use fondant on top of a souffle. It then, inflate. then what's he? Because he eats that little him on the top. What is it made of? Maybe it's made out of sponge sugar. Is it, is it a cake? Pa- is it a is it a cake pop? No, ca- cake pop didn't exist back then. That's, That's a fairly new development. <laughs> Welcome back to the cooking podcast. <laughs> Today, is your oven running too hot? An investigation. Uh, <laughs> or a conspiracy. Also, Stay tuned. Uh, he had a little kiss the squid. Uh, what's it called? Apron. Apron on. Oh, kiss the squid, yeah. Um, this is the, what, the first time and one of the only times that I can think of that we see their backyards yeah. yeah and like patrick has trash cans and spongebob has a flower fence and squidward has a window and we definitely see the backs of their houses but there's nothing there when we see them they always just create sets for that one yeah. episode and i <laughs> never use them again i played a lot i had a gamecube as a kid and i played the revenge of the flying dutchman for that uh and you know you can just walk around it's like a 3d platformer and you can see spongebob's backyard and it was always really weird because you never see that in the show. And it looks different than it does in this episode. Like, like one of them has, like, a full-on, like, corn garden in the back. Yeah. Or like has a, yeah. it's, it's weird. Not a garden, a farm or whatever. And sometimes 
sometimes either one of them has like gardens in their front yeah or coral gardens or like when spongebob was in an episode with mystery or talk debbie. about that one later debbie we should not. anyway <laughs> that's interesting and also the one where squidward has a garden in his front so it's just they just move it around to fit their needs yeah so it's weird. weird but also going on that patrick's house why did it crush him that made every no okay sense. that's another thing every other time we've seen patrick's house <laughs> or almost every time there's like a really big impression and even then here's an impression but like it's like only like waist high to the point where it makes some weird side note there's some really weird squishiness going on in this episode yeah a lot oh, of yeah. squishing when, when squidward oh, yeah. gets puffed up when they're both eat too much or drink too much seltzer when he gets Crushed. squished like an ac- accordion that i was like what's going on I think and who even boarded this episode weirdly like yeah. squishy and gross like I, squidward's bubbles well because they're made out of a souffle yeah <laughs> it's gross i drink bubble water because of this episode i remember that when i was oh, little no. Cause the he, real like, question is in his ma- wha- oh okay because patrick like stuck it the wand in his mouth so i did oh, it no. too oof buddy hey i was an impressionable child you, Be- you can tell <laughs> how, how did that go i learned quickly that it tastes horrible there's a reason we don't do this yeah taste of soap I, as horrible. a kid makes your mouth bubble up and fall <laughs> yeah that's I, true i do remember as a kid i didn't try it because i was like how am i gonna make a souffle but i was like i guess you can just take a fork and dip it in souffle juice and then use it to blow bubbles i was like yeah a fork like, by as a, the way as also. a kid i was like i don't know how this works but i'm probably six and this seems to make sense this i'm like it wasn't that big of a logical leap as a child <laughs> <laughs> i just love the idea that you're like that you think you can just like blow a bubble with a fork that yeah. confuses me why is that even i definitely sense? thought that was something i could do and i, I remember <laughs> thinking like well is it like in between the in between the like snappy like bits or tiny bu- bubbles yeah like what what, the, what 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 are you doing also i mean you guys have been talking about the logistics of blowing bubbles but so i'm gonna say they tried to talk into a bubble and send it to someone because oh i did i definitely I have, did, too. did try to I do did. that i know for a fact i <laughs> oh, tried yeah. to do that oh yeah I was like, nothing. Nothing. Silence. Doesn't work like that. Lies! Just Or even screaming into a jar and then opening it later and a scream comes out. <laughs> Lies. Yeah. Like Hong Kong Fu in those boomerang. Yes. Boop, blump, uh, the pain jar. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, Doesn't let's work. See. We got... Uh, Pat has a lumpy face when he, like, listens to... When he listens to the first bubble. He's got, There's like, a, a big round... It's just... It's a weirdly boarded episode. And... In, like, from breaking from character models. From, and... When Squidward was making the souffle, it looked like his forehead was really big. Yeah, he there was a lot was of weird. weird shots in this episode. There were and then like Squidward doing Patrick's impression that was really funny to me. <laughs> I think what like, impression? No, oh, his voice. impression, his voice impression oh, of Patrick. Okay. Like it, it was like really like weird sounding. <laughs> that's some. That's a. That's something that's if you can tell a good voice actor is if they can do an impression as one character of one character as, as another, another character because. I've heard, if you watch the, the Simpsons sometimes, the grandpa does an impression of, no, Homer does an impression of his dad, Yeah. and they're both voiced by the same guy, and it's not Homer, and then suddenly the grandpa's voice is coming out. It's Homer doing an impression of another voice that the wow. same guy does. that's meta. That's deep. That's really interesting, like, but like, irrelevant to this. It's slightly relevant. Yeah. They're played by different characters. Okay, so, um, <laughs> so, oh, you see Squidward's but, butt. Wait, but also, really quick, going back to that, <laughs> Spongebob's accent, like, when Squidward does Spongebob's voice, it has a New Jersey accent. Did you guys catch that? Okay. I didn't. He's from New Jersey. My dad's from There's, New Jersey. His dad's from New Jersey. <laughs> There's a, it, Wikipedia told me, so. Oh, he, Jenny was scrolling through the, the Spongebob wiki. Uh, through this episode <laughs> thank you for doing that because now we have that beautiful bit of information yes so listen really hard and let us know also spongebob again looks at the camera and so does squidward later in the episode like i know they phase this stuff out like direct they're, they're still looking they look at us. they still can't figure out what they're doing yet i mean maybe they think it's going to be a thing and they're like they just stop doing it i mean I these know. were probably made out of order right so maybe that one was made earlier who knows on. yeah well i mean we're they only got any on notes. the fourth ep- we're only on like the this fourth episode. Yeah. Yeah. The first half of the fourth episode. So, I mean... Again, we're yeah. sorry for taking so long. Yep. 
Uh, you see SpongeBob's furrowed brow when he's really confused about the Patrick in quotation, the mean thing he's saying to him. And mm-hmm. I was just like, that's where you don't see SpongeBob's eyebrows like all furled up like that. <laughs> uh, let's see, we talked about Squid's butt. Well, I, I brought it up. It, you see Squidward's butt as he's laughing in his chair, which is just weird. The second time I've seen the butt of a character who doesn't wear pants. Yeah, they're really butt centric, and that doesn't go away in later up like seasons. Well, in the movie, I mean, Patrick had like a flag through his butt, right? It's like, weird. It that's like, like butt the, cheeks. That's the start of it. I feel like they were like butts are funny, and they're like, ah, not that funny. And then starting with the movie onward, almost they're no, like, no, there's they've always been very booty centric. <laughs> Maybe they got a lot booty of booty. Don't lie, man. They got a lot of ass men on the. <laughs> this is a family friendly <laughs> podcast. It, it was just a dolphin noise for them. <laughs> but man that sounds oh yeah okay good because that clears up what you said because oh, yeah, a dolphin a noise of... sounds like they've got a lot of yeah that's what does that mean <laughs> what does that mean <laughs> children ask your parents what that means to booty um, boys. I don't know. uh we talked about um oh there's like four memes in yeah. this episode so i just yeah. want to go through them down through them real quick spongebob looking out the window jealous at patrick and squidward that little tiny face it's so badly drawn too it's yeah. like it's weird i don't know it looks like if he was drawn as like a background character like where it doesn't need detail it's yeah it's like... weird <laughs> uh we see sleeping patrick on the uh on the couch when he falls yeah. asleep during the the clarinet solo yeah. which you said was a total sleeping dad movie yeah, oh i've always seen that it's like my dad five minutes into a family yeah together that's and it's true just like that. so true dads can sleep anywhere same though mine too yeah no i meant me I can oh. sleep anywhere too. Yeah. yeah, it's great. Um, if you go to college, you can sleep anywhere. That's true. Um, gangs all here. Gangs all here. That's definitely one. Gangs all here. Three sad fingers. Also, and, my life though. And then, um, uh, I think these are two memes. There's definitely the meme where Squidward is giving seltzer or seltzer water to SpongeBob, and Patrick is looking on disapprovingly, waiting for his turn. That's oh, a meme I, I've seen. I haven't seen that. That's funny. It's like when your friend gets his order first, but he ordered after you or something. Oh. You know, so, and then when they're both mad at each other and facing different directions, I've seen that as a Okay, meme. yeah, I've seen that one. Caption that meme. They have tons of memes. Yeah, send there. us your favorite meme caption and we'll put it up on the... Begin- no? We're not doing radio no, voices? No, I, I wanted to hear what you would yeah, think was, was the caption. Oh. I don't know. They're just mad at each other. It's like... I don't, I don't even know. I, I don't You're s- mad at your friend. <laughs> yeah, like, oh yeah, when you and your girlfriend get in a fight, but you don't want to leave the, se- the room. I don't know. <laughs> but you're both comfy. Yeah, sure. That, <laughs> hey, yeah, sure. But you don't have pants on. Okay, anyway. <laughs> also, so... <laughs> so they're drinking seltzer. That's yeah, they're drinking seltzer. Like, it just looked like he was like pouring bubbles. It's like foam. But that's like a seltzer yeah, thing, yeah. right? Yeah, like, thing, yeah. We've all seen Three Stooges and Looney Tunes. And old timey clowns. I want to see Fairly Odd Parents for some reason. At, I'm sure there was at some Pretty point sure a seltzer, seltzer gag in there. in there. I think I think with the pixies and the clown college or something. I don't know. Yeah, there was that whole episode or movie <laughs> when they had the clown yes. dude. So that's probably it. Also, about the seltzer, just I think it's pretty poetic <clears throat> that the episode started with a feud caused by bubbles and it end it with a resolution caused by bubbles. I didn't even think about that. Circular. I <laughs> like a an, bubble. I'm like an a adult bu- oh my man. God. <laughs> Mind uh, blown. <laughs> like a bubble. Uh, let's see. <laughs> oh my gosh. Too much. Too much. Uh, uh, this is a reference that Jenny will get because she's seen regular show, but Squid would not <laughs> thrown his back out if he had back abs. Yeah, if he looked back. at his back, <laughs> back he would not have some... You need to watch regular show. Also, you should watch regular show. That's just a side note. Just, yeah. But everyone, watch regular show. Unless you're, like, young, because it's not for children. Really? There's a, Well, I mean, it's for children, but, like... <laughs> it's not for children. As an adult, it's, I'm like, I don't know if, like, a child should watch this. It gets weird. Maybe, like, maybe like 12 and older. It gets weird. <laughs> okay, back abs are a real thing, and it's really gross. And all yeah. Like just... On regular show or just in general? No, just in general. You should look at regular show back abs. Look with your back. Moving company. Yeah, there's. Yeah, we can just talk about it. Uh, that Rigby uh, is like 
earning cash and he wants to get a second job so he gets a job with a moving company mm -hmm. and so he starts lifting with his legs like you're supposed to for Lift everybody with your who... legs it will break your back oh gosh yeah and the the like head like mover dude is like what are you doing he's like oh i'm lifting out he's like no we only lift with our back here we are back abs moving company and points to like a sign <laughs> and he's like okay and like it's it's screwing up rigby's back like throughout the whole episode it's like i need this money but my back is killing me i just need to make it to my first paycheck to prove i'm not a quitter and throughout the course of the episode, he starts getting back abs, and it's really gross. <laughs> and at the very end. And weird. I'm sure it's it. even, like, it's a gross image. I can't find it. I mean, it. it's not that gross. It's just unnerving. <laughs> it's like, oh, like, back abs shouldn't exist. And uh, I agree. I mean, they technically don't exist. There's muscles for your back. There's muscles for your back. There's not literal abs on the you, back of your body. You can't have abdominals. Yeah, back, that's that's what you're working. Oh, your front. sorry, I thought that was uh, a spider. Oh no, that's just some hair. Oh yeah, that's hair. There was a big that's... clump of hair on uh, Anthony's backpack. It looked like a spider. Hair. That was blowing in the wind, so it looked like it was moving. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. What else? Um, so th I just want to say something under the trivia section on the Wikipedia for this, uh, the most unneeded piece of trivia this oh is boy. the first episode in the series where the a's in the crew member's name are not filled in yeah plankton what? was the last episode where that wasn't filled in in the yeah. like the a's were like, like in the like in the title cards and everything the a's like the little circle in the oh a's. there's no okay new thing we should do most useless piece of trivia for each episode we do <laughs> on the that's because we've had yeah. multiple david hasselhoff oh, yeah. birthdays yeah <laughs> <laughs> we have this also what SpongeBob says he plays a bassinet, but that's a stroller. What? There's oh, some, what? There's some, there's some useless, there's some useless trivia. Also, a bassinet this is not isn't an instrument, it's a stroller. Also, this is not trivia either. It says, it is revealed that in oh, spite of his it. low intellect, Patrick yeah. can correctly utilize CPR. But he, not, he doesn't. I probably all. should wash my hands. He oh, doesn't utilize it yeah. correctly. And also, that's not trivia. It's just something that happened in the episode. We that's all just a gag. Yeah. And yeah. If, if there's an obstruction, there's no point in breathing air. You just do chest compressions until a medic gets there. So he didn't use CPR it grosses, properly. It also grosses me out to think that since he in entirely <laughs> inflated, that like all, like his entire body's a lung, it looks like. Oh, they I use, don't like it. They, use, they like put special detail in showing each of his suckers popping yeah. out on his hands. Every pop, one pop, of them. Pop, pop. Like, that was not necessary. <laughs> Gross. Oh. Uh, let's see, what do I have? Oh, where's Gary? Because, like, I yes. feel like that was supposed to be a bigger yes. gag that yeah, maybe they didn't about? circle back to. He's like, I've got you, Gary. Gary? Is that an empty shell? Is he just not coming out? Does he not want to deal with SpongeBob? I was expecting him to be hanging out with them over at the house, too. Or, like, it cuts to inside his shell and he's, like, reading a book and just doesn't want to deal with Sponge. Like, yeah. that's what the gag should be, I think. But, maybe like, they I don't have enough time. I don't know. Yeah, I probably not. Like, just a single gag cut out that... Yeah. Because the shell is still there the next time you see him drawing the three friends on his right, hand. Right, right. I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. If you know, call in. Uh, oh, when... Oh, she showed me back abs. That's oh, gross. From, from regular show, the... <laughs> it's weird. It was hard to find, though. She found it, though. Oh, <laughs> oh, <that one. laughs> oh God. Uh, you should watch regular show. It's very funny. Um, oh. oh, when Squid screws up his back and Spongebob starts running at full speed when he twists his neck it's like a full twist like it's been twisted two or three times yeah. his back is not the only thing that's messed up there <laughs> also man Spongebob is in a speedo which makes me uncomfortable like a tight speedo yeah 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 it's a little gross <laughs> nobody needs to see that I'm surprised they didn't like show his butt either that time seeing as I was so know, right? centric weird um but like why would he have a butt he's literally a sponge he plays doesn't in one of the episodes he has two like square butt cheeks yeah, that are independent of each other so that's a weird. something yeah there's lots of very different variations on their butts that they show a lot and it's i'm sure somebody intriguing. some weirdo online has made a compilation of like every butt in spongebob oh i'm sure it's probably a very long <laughs> video robert's burping off mic thank you you didn't have to call attention to it we had soda it's not his fault. It's not my fault. It's not uh, his fault. I know. I know. I want to learn violin or cello or some kind of something, but it seems difficult. <laughs> you can play so much on a violin. I know, you right? You should learn. You should learn fiddle. Fiddles are cool. Well, fiddle is just violin. It's just how you play it. Yeah. Wait, no, learn is it really? Fiddle. A fiddle and a violin are the same instrument. Learn fiddle. Yeah, play Devil Went Down to Georgia, please. Da -da 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 Whatever that sound is. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, just play it with your mouth. That's fine. 
Yeah, I, I'm basically a master already. Um, oh, when he breaks it, when he's mad at Patrick, it makes the El Kabong noise. The ka like oh, that yeah, old yeah, yeah. Hanna Barbera breaking right, sound effect. Right. <laughs> El Kabong. Um, Patrick in the bath is. Like, imagine if you just came home to like take a nice hot shower to relax, and your neighbor was in your, your bathtub. Your big old your neighbor. fat big neighbor is like hey buddy warmed it up for you what does that mean With what <laughs> what did you do <laughs> and then on top of that your other neighbor then pops his head through the window <gasps> and rubber bath toys yeah like i i i, un- I understand why Squidward hates these people as an adult I'm <laughs> as like, an adult Oof. i get it we also, understand also sometimes Squidward can be mean like he's in, a jerk to be in sure in this in this episode he was being a jerk what did he think was going to happen that they were going to have a quiet feud and never talk to each other <laughs> no they're going to either well, bother a... him or they're going to just fight with each other yeah, and, and it's going to be louder yeah hey but... squid's choking <laughs> that's what he says right when he's accordion or yeah um <laughs> oh uh squidward becomes a garbage person he's just in a garbage can i thought it was a really funny shot shout like, out to our lives garbage people yeah. oh um at my old at my old job um i had a, a co-worker and she like made some like thing is like oh you know like just throwing the garbage where i belong like just like a throwaway like silly offhanded joke and i was like i get it girl i'm self-deprecating like we don't, <laughs> like let's just move past this but she was about my age and then we also work with a lot of people who are like moms and they go no honey no you're not why would you say that about oh, yourself no, no they and don't I'm understand like, like millennial humor or just that. and i was just like well that's hey at least they're nice about it but yeah. like i it's could tell she instantly got a little uncomfortable like no that's not what i i was being silly <laughs> Um, I remember I remember one time I said I'm a garbage person to Anthony, like we're garbage people, and he was like, what? You're what? You were very confused by that. I, I didn't understand that. I guess that maybe <laughs> it was the first time I had heard it, but I've now heard it a ton. Yeah, we say it a lot. <laughs> um, Squid's a good artist. Squidward's a good artist. Yeah, he's, self, he just, he's full of himself, yeah, he but he's a good artist. Bad. You said earlier, bad subject matter. Yeah, <laughs> like, he takes bad subject matter. Yeah. And... No one Let's wants see. it. He's too full of himself. I had already mentioned this, but yeah, Squidward talks to us at the very end. He's like, like, I should just turn around and walk away right now. Like, it's, he looks at us when he says that. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's weird. Yeah, right to the audience. All right, I've got two more notes. The I've first, hit on mine. The first one is Jenny brought this up because she was reading the Wikipedia page huh? oh. that Solitude in E Minor can't, the, apparently based on the notes that he plays, the like two or three notes we hear, it's impossible for it to be an E minor. Really? Well, yeah. yeah. Here, here, if anyone wants a- to... Apparently there's actually a lot of musical mis... Mistakes. Mistakes. In this episode. Musical mishaps. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Mis- miscongruencies? I no, don't know I, if that's I think not a word. mistake is the word. Okay, mistakes, <laughs> where it's like, oh, play it in, like, B minor, and it's mm-hmm. like, that's actually not in B minor. I don't understand music, so... Yeah, but there was that... Like that gag you said earlier, that was definitely a gag where he's like, I used to play whatever. And what did he say? He used that I used to play the bassinet, but a bassinet's a cradle. Like I, an old timey cradle. That's so. SpongeBob just straight up lying, right? Yeah, he's yeah. just like, No, I know I know play bassinet and not bassoon, but, but like, not of clarinet. All the things he would choose, he chooses such a random instrument to say. Like he's just guessing. Not even what an instrument. Is, right? He's just like, Yeah, no, for sure. I play <laughs> I play instruments. That's basically the tone of what he was doing. Um it's a good episode overall. I think it's yeah. a really good episode. Also, we need to call attention to the pirate in the room. We we watched this with the subtitles on just now, and it informed us that the pirate in the painting is the named captain. the captain is named Painty the Pirate. It's a great name. Now, if you knew this, message us. But we should receive no messages <laughs> because there's no way anybody knew this unless you extensively read the Wikipedia page for SpongeBob. Right, like that's really the only way you could have known. I don't understand. That is, does, at no point yes. does it come out. Yar, I just be a talking head. Is there ever like a yeah? Has there ever been like a? That's the only break time break? Oh, I've yeah, seen yeah. him talk to. Okay. The painting is when he's learning how to tie his shoes. He like gets flinged into the painting. He's like, "Do you know how to tie my shoes?" Like, I'm just a painting of a talking head. Oh right. That's the only right. time I've seen it reference. Seen it referenced yeah. outside of the intro. And fun fact: what at one point I'm not sure when, but Painty the Pirate was voiced by CeeLo Green. Oh my! Probably God. during a song. So maybe a special. I don't know. I would imagine. But you don't just get CeeLo for no reason. Wow. I guess. <laughs> That's amazing. So there's that. Just drop that there. <laughs> <laughs> my God. CeeLo, my man. Are you crazy? Kids. All right, there's um, the that joke. wasn't CeeLo? 
Yeah, it was. It was not as Barkley. It was not as Barkley. Which CeeLo Green was one half of. Yeah, that but it's not CeeLo. What? Yeah, that's him singing. Is it? That's him singing, singing in the song. the music. No, Danger Mouse, the other half of that, okay, definitely still, made the beat. It's still not you know what? You could have We're splitting hairs one. here. I want to put on record that I was correct <laughs> that CeeLo Green sang that song. The He's person CeeLo Green. Green sang that song. I mean, if you no. went for the other easy joke, I'd have to bleep it. Because this only other song that anybody knows is a cuss word. I've been driving around town looking girl I love and I'm Should like, we really forget talk about, you. Yeah, yeah, it was forget you on the radio. Ooh, Should we really ooh. be talking about him this much? Isn't he like kind of a, he's kind of a douche. I don't know where we stand with that. Okay, am I going to get into this? Because this you is know not for let's SpongeBob. Stop. Hey, SpongeBob wait, is wait. fun. I do have one thing to end it with though. Just, okay, go. Just a little real world thing there. I feel like this episode really shows how easily it is to misconstrue things. I know from personal experiences, communication is very important. If you think someone's talking about you behind your back, you should talk to them directly instead of just believing the hearsay that happens to be in bubbles. Teach your kids. Drop some knowledge. People. The more you know, <laughs> flies over us, fade to black, PSA over. <laughs> the more you uh, know. You have a shout out. Okay. I do have a shout out. So actually, I want to... Shout out! So guys... Um, we should put some music there, by the way. Like special shout out music. Da, 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 just the... The intro to the band. The, and the, the okay. Uh, okay. Wow. I oh, forgot we... I knew that. Okay, do Don't hate that. You know. Okay, so. Um, when I posted on April Fool's Day, again, sorry I did that on um, accident. It was um, unintentional. We should have done an April Fool's episode. We should have. Okay, sorry. We, we should have done a lot of episodes by now, in general. <laughs> uh, but, so, um, a, a few months back, we got followed by a podcast that we believed at the time was like all about high school musical i sent it to jenny I, I got the notification on instagram she was like oh that's so cool and then left it at that but then i posted that you know we are going to be recording again soon on april 1st um and i received a message from one of the hosts of the wild chats podcast now the wild chats podcast is i'm not reading any official copy or even anything i'm just coming up with what i know uh, is a podcast that covers Disney Channel and Disney stuff from the mid to early, early to mid two thousand. From so, the Disney Glory days. You got you got your Hillary like Duffs. Always. You got you got your your Kim Possibles. You got of course Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. Shout out to earlier in the episode. And Pass of course the, plate. the okay. first Sorry. episode of their thing covers a uh, High School Musical, and then they talk about a bunch of other stuff. Uh, one of their hosts, Sarah. Let's all say hi to Sarah, everybody. Hello, Sarah, thank you. Hi reached out to us and you know told us she was just a really big like she liked all our posts on instagram she she was like hey you guys are super cool like can i be on the podcast so i want to announce at some point in the future uh i think i can announce this right yeah of it's course. like not yeah i'm already halfway through it maybe, i'm gonna do it maybe not. don't tell me what to do uh why Did you clear it with them first i feel like that's the thing that should be cleared on both ends what do you i don't agree yeah, well, yeah, whatever. It's not a, it's not a surprise. Uh -huh. um, at some point in the future, we'll have Sarah of the Wild Chats <laughs> on this podcast. And then Jenny, being the huge early 2000s Disney fan that she is, w is going to at some point end up on Wild Chats. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Yeah, nice. that's like my heyday. I love I love all that stuff. I watched it for way too long. Fill the future. Oh, gosh. I love fill, that. Okay. Fill, fill, fill of, of the future. We know in history we where he would land. Fun. Fill. The future. He's a twenty first century. Twenty second century man. Shoot. You stop. Ouch. Okay. You're embarrassing yourself. <laughs> yeah, I'm embarrassing. You're embarrassing myself. me. Yeah, that's true. Okay. But I do that every day. Yeah, that's true. Um. So yeah. Uh. We just want to say a big shout out to Wild Chats. Uh. They're a pretty cool podcast. We listened to a couple episodes. Sarah was recently on an episode of another podcast where she specifically talked about SpongeBob and her love of it, and that podcast is called um random chatterings and she is on the episode talking specifically about spongebob go check that out i've listened to it it's a great episode uh if uh, you have any questions about anything uh feel free to reach out to us on twitter instagram facebook uh to all... a lesser degree facebook yeah way to a lesser degree on facebook uh bikini bottom radio send us an email uh bikini bottom radio at gmail.com uh, we will answer. Uh, we don't get as much mail as you think we do. Um, or any. 
We got we did get a, like a fan mail from we somebody. Got two. Yeah, this is our second one, so yeah. it's nice to see. We enjoy and don't them forget all. to subscribe. Oh yeah, you okay. smash that subscribe button. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, guys, uh, sorry to keep you waiting for so long. We're gonna try and uh, do a bunch of episodes tonight. In the event that most likely we're gonna be really bad about recording more episodes in the future. I mean, who? How would that even happen? Like, I mean, we're great about recording episodes, Obviously. but just in case. Um, so. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. Uh, we're happy to be back in your podcast feed. Does anyone have any final words? Pizza. That will be on your deathbed, won't it? That'll be your last it's all, It was always going to be on her deathbed, dude. <laughs> it was always pizza. Always. Even now, after all this time? Always.